OCO, good morning. And uh, today I'm out here by the creek, made some ginger tea as you saw before um, in previous parts of the video. Um, and uh, just out here on the creek today and wanted to just hang out a little bit and talk to you guys about some things. Um, start off with the uh, with women in the Cherokee. Uh, women were very important in Cherokee society. They owned homes, they owned property. They owned the property, they owned the houses, they owned, you know, they, they did the farming. They helped with major decisions. They were on the council, they, you know, everything, they were, they were, they were equals. And in some ways they were more important because they were life givers. And they still are life givers, women are still life givers. And uh, that was very important to the Cherokee. How clan status uh, worked is that when a man and a woman got married and had kids, those kids were, would stay with the mother. The father would go off and hunt. And he would fish. He would be gone months at a time. And it was the uncle's responsibility to take care of that man's kids. Um, and that's how the clan, the clan system worked there, was that the father's the father's kids were actually his nieces and nephews, not in a mortal sense, but in a fatherly role type of sense. Um, he would take on the responsibility for his nieces and nephews, and the original father would not have those sort of ties to his own kids. His own kids would be ra raised by their uncle and the mother. So. I know that sounds a little bit strange, but that's how it was in Cherokee society. And um, the, uh, the, you know, whatever clan your mother was a part of, that was your clan. That was the clan that you stuck with was your mother's clan. And your father's clan was something completely different. And you were not a part of your father's clan. You were only a part of your mother's clan. And um, that's just how it was then. And uh, your fatherly figure was your uncle. And I think that was pretty interesting. Uh, that was, you know, pre-European contact. And when the Europeans came, they would question the men about everything. They would question them about what goes on, you know, how do you do things? How is your society? How, you know, they would ask them all these questions. Patrol plane. And, and, you know, they would get the wrong answers because the men would mess with them. You know, they would tell them the wrong things on purpose and, you know, go and laugh about it, have a, have a little laugh about it later. Whereas, uh, you know, if the Europeans would have just asked the women these questions, they would have gotten straight answers. And we would know a lot more about Cherokee history and society if they just would have asked the women instead of the men. And that's just the truth. So... Um, I'm going to get off of here and see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the likes and comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe.